Hello and welcome to another Messica Memory Keeper. Um, I'm going to have some assistance today, so I'd like you to meet my lovely assistant. Hello, this is my lovely assistant Sarah. She's helping me today. <coughs> so, um, I had this really cool thing that happened to me on the bus the other day, and um, I wanted to remember it because it was so cool and Sarah was asking me about it, so I'm telling you and Sarah at the same time. Um, so on Monday nights I go up to the Boulder Poly meetup and I decided to ride the bus. And I was walking on 16th Street Mall to Market Street Station and there were these two like hippie folks that were there hanging out and um, a guy and a girl and uh, they're like, hey pretty lady with the cool shirt on and I was like, you know, and it just kept on walking. Well, it turned out that they came on the same bus And I walked onto the bus, and there were people in each seat, all the way to the back, and nobody was willing to move over. Like, one person had their legs on to the side, and she did not move in for some more high water for me. And I got all the way to the end, I'm like, really? No one's going to move? I'm like, because people had their bags or whatever. And, and I was like, really? Seriously? So I sat in the middle on the back. So then this couple comes on the bus. You know, these hippie, crystal crunchy, really cool, awesome people. And, um, you know, full of colored patchwork kind of stuff. And um, she comes up in the back of us and she goes, really? Seriously? I'm like, wow, she said the exact same way that I did. <laughs> like, is there anybody here who would like to move from one seat to another so that I can sit with my husband, please? Nobody moved. Not a single person moved. Nobody. I was like, oh, dang. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I said the same thing not but like a minute and 30 seconds ago. She's like, I know, what's up with that? And I'm like, I'm really sorry, this is America. <laughs> because, like, I don't know, it's just, just kind of sad. And sometimes I'm ashamed to call myself an American for that reason. Um, <coughs> just because in, in Europe it would not be even given a second thought to let a couple that's married sit together. So anyway, this really cool hippie chick was like, rest, wrestled through her thing and um, got something out. And she's like, you know, we're like the same. It's like indigo, right? Crystal. And... I mean, unless you know what indigo crystal means, I mean, those are two very benign sorts of words. Indigo means that you're an indigo child. Crystal means that after the indigo children became kind of well-known, there was also another category called crystal children. Really, there's no category. We're, we all come into this world wired a little differently than, than, than previous generations. So anyway, she pulled this thing out of her bag and she handed it to me. I wanted to show you. And she came to the back and she put it around me. And in case you can't see it, it says, You are beautiful no matter what. And it's just a sticky note that um, has a little world tree on it. And she put it around my neck. And yeah, it's handmade and it's got spaces and little bits of paint and stuff. But it was really cool, you know, um, especially for like the 29 days of gifts thing that I'm doing and everything. So, <coughs> now the interesting thing is, is that before we started this exchange, none of the people were talking or doing anything. And there was this woman sitting over here and there was this other woman sitting here in front of me. who had her little boy with her. And they started talking back in Spanish back and forth about the crazy white chick. Um, <laughs> It was interesting to me how they think that nobody else can understand what they're saying. Uh, but, um, so I started pulling things out of my bag because she had given me a gift. I wanted to give her a gift. So I pulled out my bag and I started drawing and then the man beside me started talking to me. He was like, oh, so you go to school for art? And I'm like, well, yeah, actually I did. And it was cool because he started interacting with me and treating me like a real person, which was really, really nice. And um, so I started drawing, but we're on the bus of Boulder and the road is messed up. And 
so it's this crazy kind of scribbly heart. And then they tried to do calligraphy with the butt, scratching and scribbling, and, and it was really, really hard. But you can tell that it's like real, you know? So, um, she came back to me again like she was going to say something, but I was in the middle of drawing, so I, you know, I just, I couldn't interact with her because I was concentrating so hard. So what I did is I made this for her. And see if you can get a close-up of that. It says, our humanity is shown in kindness given and received graciously. And when it's not well accepted with prayers of hope for their hearts to open like a flower to the sun of love. Mythic. So, not my best work, but it was on a bumpy bus. And she was like so excited about it and stuff. And uh, the thing that happened was is that I took that and I tilted it forward and I let the woman to the left and to the right of me read it. So I got them interacting in on it. And then um, I ended up taking my business card and I said, excuse me, do you see that woman up there? Can you pass this to her? Because I couldn't get up because my bag was between my feet and all my stuff. And so each person ended up passing it up to her. She's like, right on, that's so cool. And so then she wanted to give me another gift back. So there was this whole gift exchange thing that was going on that was really cool. And she ended up giving me um, a green barrel marker. So barrel is like a, it's like a professional art tip. And she goes, this is just in case you ever need this color. And it's green. And so she she did the same thing and she got the woman, the, the man that was next to her to pass along. So we have people passing notes and pens back and forth. And uh, she's like, uh, yeah, my name's Kitty Kate. Kitty and Kate. And, uh, and she's like a stand-up comedian, awesome woman. You know, but she, it's not because she tries, it's just the way she is. So she's like, she's like yeah, I was in class. And uh, the teacher was like, you serious, Kitty and Kate? What, what did your parents stutter? And she just was like, and made this funny thing, and, and she goes, nin, 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 nin. yeah. <laughs> so it's just to be funny. And everybody on the back of the bus just started cracking up and laughing. And the whole thing is that this exchange started because nobody wanted to interact with us. Not with me, and not with her. And because we ended up getting separated by four or five seats and having this exchange, you know, the person to the left of me started interacting with me and the person to the right of me and the two people in front and there was at least, you know, two more people involved with the passing back and forth of notes and by the end of the entire exchange everyone was talking to each other and interacting with each other whereas before nobody on the back of the bus to Boulder, Colorado was going to say boo or one word to each other. And it was just because we were open to it, you know what I mean? Like we were, we were willing to risk an interaction with one another and sometimes, even though it's easy for me, I forget that it's really hard for other people sometimes to do that. So, there was so many cool things that happened with this interaction. Oh, I forgot! Wait! <laughs> So later on in the night, after the Boulder Poly meetup, we went to BJ's afterwards, and there they were again, in the street, on Boulder. And, oh my gosh, <laughs> it was just amazing. So I went over and gave them hugs, and I was like, look, these are the dudes that were on the bus that I told you about earlier. And um, so there was this, this whole other really kind of crazy, cool exchange, and just the synchronicity of it, of two human beings finding each other not only once but twice on the same day in a place that has thousands of people that you don't know necessarily where you're going to end up. I mean, it was just really, it was really, really cool. And uh, just a few minutes ago, just to kind of continue the story, um, she gave me a piece of paper and 
uh, put her email on it and uh, website, and I punched it in because I just I just was thinking about it and typed in and went to Facebook and said, "Are you the person that I met uh, on the bus to Boulder?" And then she wrote almost immediately back. Wow, I'm hardly ever on this thing. It's so amazing that you happened to send this just as I was on. I'm like, no, that never happened to me. <laughs> so it was really cool, and I wanted to share this with you um, because it's a really cool memory. So thank you for sharing my memory, and I hope it inspires you to do random acts of kindness and interactions and to remember that it's possible to connect with other people by just being yourself and sharing whatever it is you have in your backpack, <laughs> in your back pocket, or, you know, just a word of kindness. So, thank you, namaste, and thank you to my lovely assistant, Sarah. Say bye, Sarah! <laughs> okay. Love you guys. Mwah.